smoking to the Somalia-ish Ukulele, ukulele, Jay Aloha, everybody. We're going to go ahead and thinly slice our garlic. We don't want to have chunks, just thin slices. We're then going to take that and we're going to add some soy sauce in the Ziploc bag to get that garlic extraction going. And we're then going to take our Dr. Bill's cane and maple syrup, the finest maple syrup out of New Orleans, Louisiana. And we're going to add that to our soy sauce and our garlic, which is going to make an incredible marinade to tenderize that chicken and get some huge flavor going. So after you add your Dr. Bill's in your bag, we're gonna also add a little blue agave nectar, about a tablespoon. We're then gonna take our chicken breasts, make sure they're dried off real well, and we're gonna put them in the bag. Now, if you notice, we don't need a ton of marinade. We wanna just coat everything, make sure to get that garlic and marinate all around that chicken. Cause you know what we want? Nah, we don't want flavor town. That's small time. We're going big, baby, scintillation state. Garlic, cane of maple goodness right there. Our beautiful garlic cane maple marinated chicken breasts. I'm gonna smoke these out on the smoker. I'm gonna make some scintillation. Make sure to dry for chicken really good. Go ahead and just dab it with a paper towel. Don't rub it. We don't want to disturb that garlic. We want to actually push that garlic into the meat for the smoking process. Make sure to flip it over and do the other side. Remember, a little dab will do you. And now we're ready for the smoker. Look at that beautiful chicken, nice and dry, ready to go. Gonna go low and slow. Got my new Yoder gasket kit on. No leakage of smoke, which is really, really cool. I got that nice blue smoke coming out the stack. Temperature probe is ready to go. Checking that smoke, make sure it's staying blue. For the final part of our smoke, we're gonna use some kosher salt and some Dr. Bill's canned maple syrup. That's gonna be the final ending to our wonderful garlic and can of maple chicken. Okay, we're out at the smoker. We're gonna put our final ingredients on our chicken. And oh, look at that chicken. That is absolutely stunning. Fantastic, look at that color, that's oh, beautiful. So we're gonna actually take our glaze, and this is our, uh, this is our Dr. Bill's can of maple syrup. I'm just gonna give it a little dabbing, just a little dab on each of the pieces, not a lot. Just want a real thin coating. So our goal is not to make it super, super sweet, but just a little hint of that sweetness on top. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of kosher sea salt on the end. And we're at 150 degrees right now. We're gonna to go to 155. So I'm gonna take a little bit of kosher salt, get that on there. A little bit of kosher salt. Not a lot, just a little bit on there. For some flavor. And we're good to go. Close it back up. Now we wait. Now to get this chicken real nice on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and paint some Dr. Bill's cane of maple syrup on here. This is a little secret. So when we rest our chicken, it's gonna pick up a little hintness on the other side. Oh, we're good to go. I'm gonna finish it off with just a little bit of salt on here. A little bit of salt. And that's what our chicken's gonna sit on when it rests. Hey everybody. Here are my garlic, cane of maple, boneless chicken breasts, wonderful, ready to eat. Look at that color. That garlic's got that nice crispness to it. We've got a Dr. Bell's cane of maple syrup on here. This is scintillating. Look at that, look at that garlic. Oh, that is really good garlic right there. Smoky garlic, sweetness, not too much. The sweetness and saltness, that marination that happened. Absolutely fantastic and scintillating. You gotta try it. Smoking to the Somalia-ish, ukulele, ukulele, Jay.